Oh, I've got fact, something fun to show you since we start the, as well. The fact that like, you've got to hold it up. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's Ark and Zug Payding live uh, on a Sunday again. We've done it. How many Sundays in a row? Third Sunday in a row we've managed it? Yeah, man. It's uh, truly, truly is a summer miracle, especially as you're melting, I believe, at the moment. Yep. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Would, you, would you like me to show you the fun antique I found last night, which oh. I thought would make you happy? Oh, wow. Well, well, hold on, hold on. Let me just properly um, switch to... Uh, you have to keep holding that, although it is funny you're holding that up. Oh, hold on. I've got, I've got to put it in studio mode. Oh, God. All right, then we transition. Oh, no. <laughs> right, don't worry. Totally pro. I know what's going on. Oh, uh, let me just check. Oh, I'm not even in the fucking... Hmm? In the live stream. Oh, you fail. Yeah. I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm not sure which one is the real one. There we go. We've done it. My various uh, failures have been achieved. <laughs> There we go. Oh, no. The, why is the live stream doing that? All right. Hold on. I don't know which one is the actual live stream in the studio mode. <laughs> so just give me a second. <laughs> Annoyingly, it takes a few minutes to like, or a few seconds to catch up. There we go. Right. Now you're ready. To right. So that's the, right. That's the live one. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm good. Totally professional here, as always, at Broadside Gaming. We never... We never get things oh, right. Yeah, right. There you go. What up? Right. Like the antique I was going to show you, man. But you know, you, you were saying last week I needed a bigger brush. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Oh, wow. What is that? The tank brush. Yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, it's still going as well. It looks like a little bit of grub in the fur all there, but, I mean, you've got, like, it mostly uh, sorted. I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure we've used this paintbrush to gloss window seals at some point. Have you like cleaned it, or is it like? Oh yeah, I've cleaned it. But I mean, this this tank is is probably older <laughs> than most of our viewers. But to be fair, man, you're up a bit, up a bit. You're always so low. Yeah, I, that's a that's a great brush, man. That's a great brush. Yeah. It's a, it's I a thought legendary you'd appreciate that brush. brush. Yeah, man, it's still it's got... a pretty good nick as well. Oh, I thought Gaines, brothers here as well. I thought Gaines Workshop brushes. Oh my God, is that a dry brush? Yep. Oh my God, look at it. I've got like a new dry brush. I got a dry brush that's not looking in that good condition for like how <laughs> old? It's like uh, two years old. <laughs> yeah, man. This is this dry brush is probably fifteen years old. Are you going to actually paint with a tank? With a tank brush? Yeah, this is what I'm using to base models with. <laughs> Oh, great stuff, man! I love it. Should we, uh, should we like get on and like talk about what we're going to be painting and what we're going to be, what we're going to be painting and get on with it? Let's do some painting. Yeah. So we've been on, we've been on live for like four minutes, less than four minutes, and we haven't done any painting. It's ridiculous. This is the most ridiculous paint stream ever. This is the most ridiculous. You call yourself a paint stream? We're not actually painting. I've got coffee though. I've got some models out. I mean, that's close. Yeah, you know, I stripped the old Terminators from Wednesday. Hmm. So we're going to do this again, are we? What are we starting yeah. with? Shabbity Bone. We are starting with... Uh, I'm thinking... Yeah, I think I'm just going to go straight for it. I'm just going to follow the, the Shabbity Bone line. Follow, follow, the, follow the, the, the thing. The thing what I sent you. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm planning on doing. Yeah, man. Let's do it. This weather, though, if you do thin paint, your what paint's going to dry in like, like no time at all. Uh, even to the point where I've been forced to use a wet palette. I know it sounds like an awful thing, and everyone says you should use a wet palette, but I'm very lazy most of the time. So look, I've actually got wet palette, du -du 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 -du. Chinese takeaway carton in disguise. <laughs> As you know, I was painting with it yesterday, and it was actually really, really hot. And it was actually really, really good because I, I think I, I don't obviously I've not got a lid on it or anything like that. I'm gonna go for a nice free airy, um, wet palette. Oh but, um, man, I never put the lid on mine ever. No. But it's um, it was absolutely amazing. I was painting like I was painting these guys. Actually, I should show you. I was painting these. 
bit of a micro project. Oh god. Hold on, let me just go to me. I was painting these guys. Um some space marines. Both and space marines. marines. And I was painting these, but I was using the uh, the old wet palette. I did these in like man, I did not I did these like Oh, yesterday, I didn't put any paint on them until yesterday. So oh, they're all cool. like, they're all like, um, what? Oh, loads of time I'm spent on some, these. I'm using some thinner medium today just because yeah. it's so bloody hot. But yeah, I was very impressed with using the golds, the blacks, the reds, um, and all the grey and everything like that. So, but they're obviously uh, clearly not done yet. But there you go, coming along little private project to just do in the downtime because I figure that my blue my, my ultramarine blue is so um so quick now and lazy it's unbelievable but anyway let's get on with some painting shall we yeah are we set to public or private public it's all right why can't you see it on the stream oh no it just it, it wasn't giving me any information about it check it out on the phone yeah, we're live we're definitely live cool it's all, getting, it's all getting a bit meta though me looking at my hand and then like going ah, i'll be able to see it on my phone in a second or maybe not anyway let's go on a bit oh so what I was going to do, I was just going to finish this guy off and then I'm going to start painting the other heroes. So um, this guy is almost done. So I'm going to paint his skin with a bit of Reichland Flesh Tone. Flesh Tone? Flesh Shade. Got tones on the brain. Try not to like spill it all over the uh, desk this time. And then we'll get on with do some other stuff. Remember, man, go thin. Super thin with your shit. Oh, I am, man. Look how fucking thin that is. Oh, yeah, man. Because it doesn't have to be trans. It doesn't have to be opaque on the first take, does it? No. Probably don't want it to be, to be honest. So is this your plan? Just do loads of live streams where you base coat things? Yeah, pretty much. That's working out well for you, man. Yeah, yeah. It's a good, it's a good technique. Is it you, you? You do it for like you do it from like, um, you go on the live stream, you uh, base coat things, and then you uh, send them to me, and I finish them off for you. That's the way it works, yep. isn't it? Yeah, man. <laughs> And then we post them back in the week. And uh, this guy isn't actually a skeleton, by the way. He's not a skeleton. He's not. He's, no, he's not some sort of weird sorcerer guy. So. So, um, it's magical. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Oh no, I'm going to do a bit more of it. I'm going to do the yellow on him. Uh, I'll touch the yellow up a little bit. I'll do that while I'm here. Yeah. So you realise I've got my um, yellow yellow out. No, not my yellow. I'm getting my yellow. Yeah. Yellow yellow. Yellow yellow. Getting the yellow yellow out. Yellow yellow. Yeah, because this guy's got yellow on him, the wizard. <laughs> So, but yellow, yellow, just for a little bit of um, just for a little bit of a uh, highlighting on this guy's yellow bit here. Oh, he's yellow bit. Oh, he's yellow bit, mate. Oh, he's yellow. Although it's getting a bit weird. I don't like it. This wet palette's weird. It's too close. Why? What's it doing? It's just being close to me. I don't like it. I like to have my arm. I can just... 
Oh, that'll do. I like to have my arms flat when I'm painting. Yeah. I've just got used to positioning my hands in a certain way now when I'm doing it over here on the uh, my paint desk. All right, so I'm just going to pick out some little bits along the edge just to try and make this a little bit shinier. But not a lot. down to like no paint no paint the no paint technique it's a new technique I'm gonna be thinking, where you just like pull the brush over the model with no paint on it and uh, you uh, just get the great results yeah, that sounds like the uh, master technique there man yeah, you just wait for paint to accumulate from the atmosphere on it I'm gonna call it atmospheric painting you don't need a dry brush, you don't need a an airbrush. <laughs> don't need nothing, you just it just happens. No, you just pull it up there and just hope that something happens over time. Alright, Evil Sun Scarlet. Have I done that bit? I can't even remember. Yeah, I have actually, it looks quite evil sunsy. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go for a little bit of wild rider red and just do a little bit of a highlight on the red bits. This guy's almost done though, to be fair. To be fair. I'm still not sure about these, man. No, oh, man. You've got to try. Oh, okay. I'm going to. Got to, got to try, man. Oh, they're looking awesome already. Lol. <laughs> like fucking no coverage in this at all. They're looking so. They're looking absolutely fantastic already, Zug. They're looking streaky as shit. <laughs> right. I think, um. Although, I think that guy's kind of. I think he's a pretty basic model. So I don't think there's much more to him. I just got to do his skin, which I'm going to wait until the wash dries on it, and then I think, ah, ah, paint your models of shabby bow. Ah. Not a shabby. Yeah. Anyway, right. Let's get on with these two. So for these ones, I tell you what's freaking me out. I haven't got my typical dry palette. That's what's freaking me out. I'm like. I'm used to having a, you know, when you get used to like your desk being, all your paint set up, being set up in a certain way. Yeah. And I've got very used to painting on this desk. You haven't got your piece of tile. I haven't got my piece of tile, no, I've just got my wet palette, but my wet palette's got more. Maybe I need to like clip down the Chinese box so it's like less high. Yeah. That might do it. Well, that's, that's why I ended up buying one, man, just because of the... I, the, the depth I wanted, every sort of tub that I found was too tall. Yeah. I was just like, I can't be bothered anymore. No. I'm not doing this redneck bullshit. I'm just going to buy something. Don't know what you mean. I like to... 
improvise. Yeah, I've been doing this too long to improvise anymore. I don't care. I'll just buy something nice for it and then not have to worry. doing yesterday mm. and back to listening to random access memories by daft punk oh, i saw that on when i was i was uh going through the i was trying to find a video on our youtube thing and i said like, oh someone's been listening to lots of daft punk yeah i was like and god oh, damn it random access memories is a f amazing album man it's so good yeah man you know i'm like Oh, sorry, I'm not doing anything very interesting. No, I'm just... More interesting what I'm doing, very... I'm not doing anything on paint screen. I'm cutting a, a plastic box with a, a standing one in a way that like yeah. no viewer should be able to see. Fair. It's like they would be... Um, little they're perfect. They're, they're tabletop ready already. Yeah, man. Some big streaky highlights, and we're done. I'm happier now. Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look for like some sort of like um tray. I know I want that. Why don't you buy one man? You can get like the army painter one that's like ten quid. No, oh, I suppose so. Well I'll maybe get one later on. I'm not gonna go have one now though, am I? I can't get it now, can I? Well if you rush down to your, your local friendly local gaming store. Well and hope they have one and then come back during the live stream. Yeah. I'm not sure that that's like gonna be possible. I mean you can probably get there and back in an hour. So man, uh, th this is the final step to paint your model. Amazing. <laughs> and uh, after this, they're done. <laughs> are you Just, using, why uh, are you using a tank brush? Because uh, it was full of gloss and it kept like shedding gloss into the model and I was just like, I'm not dealing with this shit. It needs a bit more cleaning before it is model worthy again. I'm sad that you're not using a tank brush. You said you promised me. Well, uh, I thought it was clean enough to work, but it wasn't. Fair enough. What you need to do, man, is you need to get some like cheaper brushes. Just cheap brushes. Yeah, oh yeah, man. I've I've already found there's the, you can get like a pack of really fucking dirty synthetic brushes off of Amazon. Yeah. Uh, I'm just, what, I'm like, just gonna what buy like some these of them. ones. <laughs> Yeah, basically. I think they are the exact ones. Yeah. I I mostly paint with dirty cheap synthetic brushes. Because I'm dirty and cheap. Not dirty. <laughs> right, we're going with the bug ones glow. I mean, I was thinking of doing a um what you need to get started in the hobby video now that I've got the camera sorted out. Alright. Are you going to just say loads and loads of expensive brushes? No. You need about... If you're first getting into the hobby, you need about six paints. You reckon? Yeah. What are your six paints you reckon you need? Well, if you it depends on what you're painting. So, like, if you're... Say you're painting Dark Angels, man. You need, like, Caliban Green and Moot Green, a couple of reds, a silver and a gold and you're done about a wash you totally need you a get, wash you can get a wash if you want no man you I mean, would you know, I reckon you should get a wash get, that would be get yourself some null and all yeah that would be my that would be my 
That's good for your reds, good for your blacks, good for your you, blacks. Good for your silvers. Good for your silvers. Not so, good, not so good for gold, but you know. No. I mean, and some cheap brushes and stuff. Like I was, because I was, I was looking at the, some of the Facebook groups yesterday, and people were saying, "Oh, you know, I'm just getting into the hobby. You know, what do I need?" And people were going, "Oh, you want, you know, Kalinsky sable brushes?" And it's like, "No, you, you don't. When you first start out, you do not want sable brushes because you have no idea how to look after them, and they're finicky, and you need to like be able to trim them and all this bullshit." It's like, no, just get yourself some nice synthetic ones. Like Games Workshop synthetic range is actually all right. You know, they're not great, but to start out with, I don't know. I reckon you can do most of your painting with just like these like cheapo Amazon brushes, man. Oh yeah, but also I'm I'm thinking on the lines of when you're first starting out, you're you don't know much about of like third party shit, so you're going to yeah. be going to Games Workshop. Oh, so. Oh my god, this looks so horrible. Like, I hate them so much. Like, I hate these. I hate you, Terminators. You look terrible. That's like I say, this is the difference between, like, a base paint. You can really see the difference between a base paint and, like, a, a layer yep. paint being used as a base coat, <clears throat> like you're doing. Because, like, if you look at mine, it's like... Yeah. Like, let's right. look at one that's slightly drier. That's a layer paint. Yeah, and this is this is like me after one coat of a base paint. Look. Yeah. <laughs> nice and thick. Yeah, but I'm gonna let these like... dry so it doesn't gum anything up. Right. So. This is why Wednesday took so fucking long, man, because it was just waiting for layers to dry between doing stuff. So Have you got a fan? Yeah, but it's, it's not helping very much. The poor little thing's chugging away, man. It's just that I can't cope with this heat. Yeah, I'd say, you know, like six or seven paints to start out, mm. some glue, a cheap pair of uh, side cutters, yeah. a little exacto knife. Yeah. You'd have to paint something using your, like, newfound, with your kit though, wouldn't you? Maybe the more interesting, maybe the more interesting object would thing would be like. I suppose, I suppose it does matter, doesn't it? Like what you're gonna paint. Yeah. Because you can, you could say like, you know, you get, you could ask people to mix their own paints. I guess if you're going to like. Because if you're going into like. Like war gaming. You're going to paint in a certain way. You know, you're going to paint like. What am I trying to say? You're going to paint like a certain faction normally. You're not going to be like yeah. me, who paints like a million different things. No, and like I wouldn't. And like this sort of thing, I wouldn't like recommend beginners go out and get like like Chimera colour set and stuff like that because these are just primary colours you use for mixing your like your own yeah they're fucking amazing but they're not beginner friendly no I mean, I mean that's the problem isn't it like yeah because there's lots of like I think that's the thing there's lots of like oh, what have I done there's lots of advice on what to do but maybe 
Maybe it just does need to be kept super simple, like a start as start a yeah. paint kit. Because I wouldn't even say a dry a wet palette is like a requirement. No. Like I love using a wet palette. I think they're great, but to start off with you really you know, it's a good habit to be in to use, but I mean it's not a necessity to start out with. Going for Nagaroth night. Because I've got a paint more purple apparently. Paint I like the way like, I've got to, like I have no choice. You have no choice, I'm just gonna lean him there looking sad. Is it? There you go. Sad Terminator. I forget how strange paints go on a wet palette. It's weird, isn't it? Mm. You like a wet palette though, I've forgotten. Just lazy. I might go and actually buy one. I'm not interested um, in like I'm not interested in like having special papers and stuff like that for it. I'm just gonna use baking paper on it. Oh yeah, just use bacon, you got cut baking paper to size, man. Yeah. The only reason I don't is because I'm really fucking lazy. But I'm using the red grass palette with like their stuff on it. Because I, I say still... get the um the army painter one. It's because it's got a nice little brush tray on it and it comes with like a little foam thing in it. You just like hydrate and then just put your baking paper on top of it. Oh yeah, I suppose that's quite handy. Yeah. But it doesn't preclude you like just sticking a bit of some tissue paper in there. No, you don't have to at all. This is the thing I never understood. I still really don't. People going on and on about wet palettes. I, I never understand where people, I'll tell you what, I never really understand why people go on and on about like tools you're using. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't what do you mean? Always, well, you know, people are always going about like, people go like, for example, the wet palette. Yeah. You go on the internet and people are like, rave on about wet palettes and they're like, wet palettes transform the way I paint. It's like, what, why? Yeah. I mean, I don't, I, I, I mean, I, I think I've been painting long enough, man, that I know a bit about painting now. And I'm like, I can't see how. How you put paint? How you put paint on a palette? <laughs> it's going to transform Man, it, the way you paint. In in the the golden age of back in the day, we never used wet palettes. We used a bit of fucking tile. Yeah. Or we just painted straight onto the desk. Yeah. Like in the shop, we literally just painted straight onto the desk. It was just covered. Yeah. It just seems that, it just seems that like a lot of people they focus on, they focus on like, I hate to say it, they focus on the tools you do the job, not the job itself. Yeah. And and I, that's what I feel like anything, anything like that, you know, there are things like, you know, you can't use a, like a giant brush to paint like detail. You can use it, you know, as long as it, well, you could actually use the giant brush to paint detail, as long as you had a good enough point on it. And you had good brush control. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, man, and people get, people get really, really stuck on like, it's, it's in fashion to shit all over Games Workshop Ops paints, yeah? Like some of them, yeah, arguably are fucking terrible. Yes. Man, like, like I will show you an a, an example. Corex White, for example. Oh God. Yeah. But it's a white terrible is bad. Paint. It isn't the worst white they've ever made. The worst white they've ever made was like White Scar. So, when I'm using whites, uh, I've got two that I go to. I shall show you them now while I'm just waiting for stuff to finish. So, if I need a, a pure white. Hold on, give me a sec. I just need to. Oh, there we go. Go. So, pure white. Chimera colors, pure pigment. Or, a cheaper version, 
Pro Acryl, Bold Titanium White. About the same price as the Games Workshop paint. It covers really well. Yeah. But Monument Hobbies don't get much of a shout out because they're quite small. Yeah. But their paint range is absolutely amazing. But they do have some duds in the paint range, as all paint ranges do. Yeah. But again, I think, I think you know, stuff focuses to, you know, the, 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 a lot of people focus on the tools. Yeah. And Not ultimately, like everything, you know, it's in the... It's in the hands of the person using the tool is the important thing, and that's the, the you know, the, the shitty thing about painting, you know, and you know, learning learning good techniques like dry brushing and like you know, beginner, you know, not even beginner stuff, but like learning to thin your paints and dry brushing and washes. Right, if you, you can do well. that, <laughs> if you can yeah. do that, you'll actually produce and you know a bit of brush control. You know, but even then, you don't even have to have that much brush control because the wash is the you know, the the thing that fixes the transition betwixt different colours. Magic of the wash. Yeah. Um, if you can do that, then you'll be able to produce. You know, if you've got those, I think I think that I think when you start, you know, maybe we should actually do this as a, a series, like you know, real basic basic stuff you know it should be a kit you put together yeah, yeah. and then like I, I reckon the basic techniques you need to be able to do to paint to get results that are good like that, that aren't that may not be like you know the not going to win any competitions but you're going to be able to one get models done and get them on the table and get them like you know play with them and actually look at them and go actually you know what I've painted that and this actually looks quite good and I would say I would say that the techniques you need to know are you need to I would say really basic layering yeah really basic layering not like complicated layering yeah so no, we're not talking glazing here no 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 I don't mean glazing I mean like layering so you put a, a paint on another paint to create like a slightly different effect you know like on this um like on this yellow yeah yeah. On this, on this yellow bit that I don't have, I'm trying to think of a good example. Um, it'll be here, like this guy. There you go. This is a. Let me just show you. Like this, yeah. Not, not you know, this is not not great, but um, <laughs> but like you got the base coat down, yeah. Mm. Pull the the base the base color down and then basically layering it so you paint up to like the edge and then layered them wash or like base them washed yeah and then when you do the secondary color which acts as like the the first layer and possibly the last layer yeah just like doing that so you layer it out yeah layer this and in and then you just don't get in the bits where that have got the shading yeah and yeah. that's like technique number one. <laughs> That would be like layer. So, or like thinning your paints, very important. Layer washing, so you get like the washing and then dry brush. And I reckon if you can do those things, those things, you'll produce good things that you are not ashamed to look at. Don't you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, and also, man, it's people need to get out of the mindset of. Um, Oh, if I buy all the same tools that like Ninjon or Vince Ventura or Sam Lenz are using, then I'll be as good as them. So, like, you can buy the most expensive shit on the market, but the sad fact is, it's 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 practice, lots and lots and lots of practice. Yeah, I can't remember. I think was it Vince Ventrilla? He apparently he paints like seven hours a day every day. Yeah. Shockingly, the man's very good at painting. If you did anything for seven hours a day every single day of your life, I'd expect you to be quite good at it, wouldn't you? Yeah, man. <laughs> the guy's the guy's really fucking good, man. The guy is super dedicated, isn't he? He's like massively yeah. dedicated. But again, I think I think Vince Ventrilo is like, I think the point you get that you start looking at, it and you go like, you've got someone who's actually an artist at that point. 
you know like yeah. you, can, you know they've taken this miniature painting thing and converted it into an art just because like you know if you were if you were doing like art like you know if you're painting if you're doing landscapes or painting portraits or doing anything like that you know some sort of like conventional art you know most of the time is most of the time you spend is observing isn't it so you observe reality and then you recreate it using the medium you choose yeah for, yeah. for you know a lot of people that's what the way they do their art and obviously that that holds true for like this hobby because obviously you're translating what you see in reality into a miniaturized version uh, simulating like you know reality onto these things that aren't real yeah and also yeah. like creating false light and contrast to make the model look big small do you mean they're not real <laughs> no man i know shocking um and uh, and the guy like the way he just observes light and color and like the way and then then translates that onto into paint just outstanding absolutely outstanding but he's clearly you know because i remember i watching one i was watching how to like one of his videos on how to paint rock and yeah. it was really good because he said basically and i think this is something that like a lot of painters miniature painters don't actually do he said go and look at some pictures of rocks and see what colours they are, and see like how rock works. Like it's like that's such a brilliant observation about like painting. You know, I think it's just like look at what reality does, because that helps. Yeah, man, mm. it's, it it really does. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, but I reckon yeah. And then so speaking of my, our fun, fund funds of sort of like the fundamental stuff, I reckon for painting. So I reckon mm -hmm. then it's like, I reckon it's like yeah. So layering. It doesn't even have to be complex layering, man. I, like I say, not even complex layering. And then and then the, the final. The, then you got washes. How to apply washes. Yeah, and then and then dry brushing. In, in lieu of the like bothering to teach someone how to edge highlight or even doing any of that malarkey I mean edge highlighting isn't super difficult it isn't but I think that's one of the things that like it puts people gets off gets people because they look at edge yeah. highlighting because edge highlighting is you know it's one of these things where it's a skill based it's somewhat some technique you know there's definitely techniques about learning to hold your brush the right way and stuff like that yeah but I would definitely say, like the um, the main the main thing is like you know, oh, knowing how to like pro get your paint ready to dry or to do it as well, because you know that's another technique. Isn't it? You're gonna make your life more difficult if you get your paint wrong and stuff. The way you you know load your brush and and then and then the and the other thing would be um, yeah, but most of it is a like you know most of it is is like skill. There's, there's yeah. no, there's no, there's no quick, yeah. There's no quick hack to going. Oh look, I've, I've, I'm suddenly amazing. It's like, yeah, some people will be very good at it from the outset. You know, that's just how life works. Some people are just inherently good at certain things. Do you want me to give you an example? Oh. You know, I've got I'll an example. Go I've got an example. Give me a second. Right, I'll go get it. All right. 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 Give me a minute. I'll do a bit of brush or a bit of clean up for the example. Is right. the example dusty? So, 
this model, yeah, right, was painted by the Ugwife. Right, this is the, the model that was painted by the Ugwife. Waiting for it to turn up on the screen. Oh, yeah. There you go. So that's the, the first and only model she's ever painted. And I just said pick the colours, whatever colours you want. Man, it's not bad for a, somebody who's never painted a model before. That's her first model. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what I mean. With, with techniques you can learn. And, and you can achieve results. Uh, I, I think it's a really good example because it's like I say, it's my wife's first and only model. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, and also she could pick one with a face. I gave her a choice of what model to paint. So I had to teach her how to paint a face. <laughs> I know, but that's just with dry brushing. Washes and dry brushing, man. Yeah. Bless her, she did well. Outrageously well as well. And, man, look at that though. Look, even the base. Like, look. Sorry, God, we said, but look at the uh, look at the rim. That pretty clean rim, man. Yeah, look at look at the rim. See, look, that's that's called like having some like you know. This is how you thin paints. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Bless her. She did very well. But that's what I mean. That is entirely what I mean when I say that like, you could just learn to do things that aren't good. You know, you're not going to throw that off the table going like this. I hate this model. You know? What? Like I'm about to see these Terminators. <laughs> Move down a little bit, man. Yeah, man. The thing about Shabby Bone, it's like three. Very well. It's it's like three three layers you're talking. Because I paint my um, Tyranids with Shabby Bone. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be three layers. It's just I'm trying to I'm fighting against the heat as well. I'm having to like rethin the paint almost every time I change model because it's just congealing. Like, it, it, it is ridiculously hot in here, and the paint is not happy. And the thing about it is you have to understand, like, because you look at it on the camera and it looks a lot worse, but it's because the light is, like, super bright. Oh, it man, doesn't... don't worry. It looks, it looks really fucking bad in my hand. <laughs> it looks real bad. You know what? I, I do feel that, like, you know, Sherry Bone, it's a certain colour. Yeah, it's a certain yeah. colour. So why can't they do, like, like the, like another, like, it's like there's no equivalent base color paint for that. So why don't they these take the shabby bone color, yeah, mm. and then make a base paint out of it? Just like make it of like more pigment. So you should be able to buy like, and then call it, you know, I don't know, base shabby bone or something like that. You know what I mean? Because yeah. people do use, that's a color that people use for like, um, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff, yeah. It's weird, isn't it? I don't get it, because it's like the Shabby Bone is just one of those colours that you could quite happily use for, for like skeletons and stuff. Yeah, but they've got their their weird method of, you know, like put Wraith Bone down and then contrast paint over the top of it and it's just... I don't know. It's not really... I think contrast paints are a bit of a trap, to be honest. They're oh, not man, as I'm... easy as people think they are. If I was, you know, me, I, you know, if I was teaching someone to paint, mostly because I'm like old fashioned now. Um, yeah. I wouldn't use. I wouldn't teach someone to use contrast. Nope. Contrast is something you should learn later. I don't think. You, I don't it... think you learn anything from painting with contrast. 
No, it's just a big heavy, it's just an ink pigment you're putting over the top of a base colour. Yeah. It's it's not a new technique, man. Games Workshop used to have their, their own, like, chestnut ink and red ink and all that sort of stuff back yeah. in the fucking day. Contrast are just a newer version of it. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Gonna go with the uh, Avalon. I've spent more time talking than I have actually painting. But anyway, and then and then we go on to technique. What? So we go. We, I don't know why it's suddenly turned into a, what could you do to teach? We're like basically planning. So should we do this as a series of videos? Actually do this? Yeah. Are we actually going to do it? Well, you know. This doesn't sound like unachieved. Some of the things we talked about on this channel, they're really, really hard to do. <laughs> Some of the like stuff. The choose your own adventure one. Yeah, because we tried, and then we suddenly realised that we're not very good at. Well, it's it's the fact that. It would. Hoy wandering. Oh, it, um, it would take us forever. Oh no, it's not just that. It's just that I don't want to pay five hundred pound a year for Adobe Premiere Pro. Because you don't even get to buy the bloody thing, you have to rent it from them. And I fundamentally disagree with that bullshit. Yeah. No, the washes... So washes are actually... They're like a stain or a glaze. Actually, I'll, I'll find you the, the exact definition between... Oh no, we could, I suppose we could cut it up, download it, cut it up. That's true. No, I reckon, I reckon the, I reckon the, the, because it won't be hard to do a series of like short videos just talking about like, because. Oh, here we go. All right. Inks are a translucent paint that stains but doesn't darken. Washes, on the other hand, um, add recess, shadow, and light but are more translucent, so they don't change the colour of the paint as much, but they add uh, contrast. Sorry, carry on. Thanks, I'm very technical. <laughs> What's garbage, sorry, War um, wondering. Probably the, uh, oh. the monetization model of uh, Adobe. Oh sure yeah. The, what's it? Any that Adobe Studio Suite now? It's just it's ridiculous. They're like, oh, it's a steal at thirty pounds a month. I was like, you can suck my dick for that. I, mean, I suppose that, that's the problem that like that's uh, that's the nature of uh, you know the way people do it now. Unfortunately, whole whole like yep. cloud. Rental, they want to do everything. Everything is a service these days. Basically, they're turning everything to a sort of an Azure cloud based service. Uh, not Azure, is it? It's just all sorts of different platforms. It doesn't really matter. You, you know, the point about it is it's all abstracted away from the user anyway, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, but, you know, that's the, it's like it's like games as services. They want everything as a service now because they can. That's the best way they can monetize it, and it stops piracy. That's yep. the short version. Like, I, if I could fix my university laptop, I have Final Cut Pro on there. But the problem is, I'm not converting every goddamn video into a file format that Apple can read and then back into a format Windows can read. Don't they like, don't they like, like MKV files? Nope. What? Yeah, man. What colour would you use as a base for... Tuscal fur. Tuscal fur. Uh, uh, I want like a ready. I like this color as the base. Rhinox hide. Work up to Doom Ball and then Tuscal fur. Okay. You could just start off with Doom Ball, to be honest. Okay. Oh, there are. There are many, many other programs. It's just I don't want to buy them because um, we're not making huge amounts of money out of YouTube at the moment, and 
getting sweets are like like my university degree and my masters is is basically image manipulation and video editing and animation so i can do it but i'm not paying the huge amount of money for these suites and like the free ones the problem with a lot of them is uh, they they're, they're dodgy as shit But I reckon, I reckon using like the incredible Microsoft animation tool, the Microsoft tool, it would look like crap, but you could actually do it. Yeah. Because you, or you, you don't have to do anything clever, do you? You just have to basically put cuts in. It's just so, stapling videos together. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could even record it as one big old video, couldn't you? And then like just clop it. Or like, you know, you could do like a, you could do like a, you know, how to paint a basic model video. Yeah, it, it did just turn into a massive pissing match between Apple and Adobe. And like you had to buy the specific Adobe suite to um, convert videos and stuff, which was just ridiculous. I don't know, I've never really followed video editing that much. Oh man, I fucking love video editing. It's, it's, it's not like I find I'm it ever, really relaxing. It's not like I'm ever going to do any video editing. Oh, don't. Man, it, it, I think you'd be quite good at it. It's just a big puzzle, basically. I do like a puzzle. These these uh, terminators are making me sad. Let's look at a, a lovely, lovely Infernus Marine. Ooh, hold on. Let me just change it. Okay, look at the lovely Infernus Marine. He's almost finished. Just got to do his eyes. And eyes. then add a little bit more to the metallic on the... Uh, um, do some burn on the barrel. There you go. Some, like, beating up leather on his little pouches. Oh yeah, it does look nice. I like that leather. That's lovely. Yeah, it does look good, yeah, man. That does look really good. Taught, taught me to do that. Oh man, that that's really nice. That looks really clean as well. Yeah, really good. Uh, the, man, most and the armor. All dry Hold your hand still. <laughs> armor is all all dry brushing, man. Yeah, this is what I mean. See, this is what I'm this is what I'm talking about. You see. You can achieve really good things with really simple techniques. Yep. And that's why painting is such a cool hobby, because it's like you can learn you can learn loads of you can do loads of stuff and make really nice things. And look at mm. them and go, ooh. Oh yeah, I, I think uh, Gimp is actually the route we're going to go down for the editing. That's Gimp what is, I've been looking at the most. Uh, yeah, Gimp is definitely it's a, it's definitely a program for like definitely. Uh, oh no, this guy's got toes. Yeah, no. Didn't realize he had bare feet. The dreaded toes. I'm not bothered. I'm just like I haven't painted his toes. But so I reckon, yeah, so the basic videos are. Doing your paint. Filling your paint. Washes. Dry brushing. Layers. And that's it. Oh, Clip Studio. I, I remember them. They're, oh, they're still going. That's good. I'll have a look at those as well, because... I mean... So what I used it at uni mostly was um, Flash for animating. Uh, Final Cut. Uh, Premiere. 
What was the goddamn Adobe one that I used for doing special effects? Oh, After Effects. After Effects is really good. Do you reckon they're the the, the three things then? Do you think anything should be added to that? Zark! I'm thinking, man. I'm I'm oh, I'm thinking as well. Remember, this is a visual an oral medium. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking as well. So, but people also need to understand that when they go on Facebook and ask people about, you know, what should I get? Blah blah blah. You know, people say, oh, you need to buy all of these artist opus brushes that cost like 20 pounds a brush. No, no, you do not. Do not buy fucking sable brushes as your first brushes. Look, it's a monument hobby brush, synthetic, like three quid. Army painter brushes, which I'm, you know, I was just using to base things, four quid. And they've got they've got nice triangly handles on them, so they're easier to grip when you first start out. You know, they're not great, but you know they they they're brushes, man. They just, just go for it. And people say, "Oh, the game workshop pay is not very good." It's like actually, it is quite good. People just like to. It, it's the same thing with Bethesda. They like to shit on Games Workshop because it's easy. And I'm not, I'm not going. Oh, don't be mean to go to a shop. Do what you fucking want. It's a, it's a corporation. They don't care about you. But they do make some good shit. You just have to know the ones that are good and the ones that are bad. And you'll learn that by, you know, painting and doing stuff. And like dry brushing. So yes, I, I swear by the artist open dry brushes. Sorry. Because they're a different shape and they work really fucking well. But Army Painter, do a cheap version of them. So get them first. Learn how to use them. Don't spend 25 quid on a fucking brush like this. Spend four quid on a brush like this and learn to use it. I don't even use dry brushes anymore. Oh. Oh, man, I do. Right. I just have, like, brushes that get a bit shit. Ah, the old school way of doing it. Yeah, man. I've moved. I've like my as I've gone. Like, like my paintings just got like it doesn't matter. So I use this bad boy for dry brushing now because it's like a shit old brush, but it's kind of got like you know. Oh yeah, After Effects and um, Premiere are Adobe. Like they're in the Adobe suite. So what? So what do we reckon then? So we reckon that like so, but apart from the whole psychology of it. <laughs> Which is what you're talking about. So there is a psychology of it, isn't there? If you're starting out, what you do is first of all you pick what armor you want. Say, like, I want to paint dark angels, or I want to paint black templars, or I want to paint whatever. You pick your army. All right. Then once you're there, you think what color do I want to paint them? Do they want? Am I going for like a nice red color scheme? And you go, okay, I'm, I'm going, I'm going red. Yellow and with that, well, if you want to go yellow, go yellow. So, you know, it's whatever you fancy. And you pick up a couple of paints. So you pick up, you either want to go like a bright red. So you go, oh, I'm going to get some Mephiston red. And um, some Agrax Earthshade. And if you want to be fancy, you can get a little highlight for it, but you don't have to. Get your base colour, get a wash that matches it. So if you're going like for for reds and warm colours, pick up a brown wash. If you're going for darker colours like greens or blues, go for a black. Or if you want to be fancy, go for a blue wash. But you know, obviously you don't have to go for a blue wash. You should do what they blue do. Wash. Yeah, like you can get a blue wash if you're doing like ultramarines. Jacking off nightshade, nice blue wash. So, but you just you don't have to buy the entire range of paints at all you know you just buy a few colors and practice and then you can slowly build your collection of them 
yeah. try not to go as far as like I have or Nim John has, where you have every paint from every range just sitting there looking at you, judging you. Like on my wall at the moment. Rhinox Hide, but by the way. There's Ooh. the entire P3 range. The entire coat de arms. Two thin coats. Vallejo. Monument. Games Workshop. Chimera. Yeah, yeah just you, you don't need to do that. I would say that, like, I've done that. I really haven't. Yeah, it's just like what Wondering said. Uh, yeah, you don't need to buy everything, do you? No. You just just pick a couple of colours, and I I think we should put together a kit. Yeah, because I reckon, right? Yeah, because I was just mulling this as you were saying about like the what to do with the colours, right? Do you reckon there's like a right? So say you know just painting models, yeah. Yeah. So we were just painting models, and and you were like, I need to like, what would you? There, there's there's got to be like almost like a, a basic set of paints that you would buy. You know, like army agnostic paints. All right, army so agnostic that, paints. Ah, oh, shitting hell. No. So I just knocked don't everything buy off like that. The shitting hell paint. That's weird. So, if I was going army agnostic. Yeah. You get yourself a nice brown. What would you say would be a nice brown, though? Probably Mournfang. Mournfang. Get a red. Usually my fist on. Yeah. Because Mephiston can be lightened or darkened to whatever you need. Yeah. Get a nice matte black. Yeah. Oh, I don't know where my matte black has gone. I know you would Preferably. say, like, that one. But, yeah. That, Preferably Vallejo. Vallejo but, but, you know, you could probably get by if with that. And... Well, I'd say go with Corvus Black, to be honest. Oh, yeah. I don't know you, Corvus you can Black. You, you can darken it down with Null Noir. Pick yourself up a gold. Do you need gold? Be, is that a generic one? For most things, man, I would say it is. God damn it. Pick yourself up a silver. Iron hand steel. Wouldn't you go for like lead pouch? No, I'd go for iron hand steel to be honest, man. It's just it's got better coverage. Oh, is it? I haven't used that. Yeah. And from there, you can pretty much. Oh fucking hell! My desk is just just knocking everything over. It's what too are you hot. Doing? Knocking everything over. Because just T swearing just... away. I'm not watching. <laughs> just swearing away. Just, just knocking everything over. Man, it's it's like it's 38 degrees in this office. I'm just slowly sweating to death. And I, I would say, uh, if you're going to get some glue, Tamiya cement. No, I use like just the standard, I don't use thin. Oh yeah, man, I use, I prefer yeah. a le le thicker one, but I like to weld my models together. And then for washes, uh, just I'd pick up none, nor or, or Agrax Earthshade. To be honest, I'd probably pick up both of them just so you've got a variety, and you can pretty much do everything with those two washes. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, I, do, I suppose it depends on what what you what you're doing, really. I don't know about that. Oh, yeah. Uh, didn't like see you only have a model paints. Didn't mix well with each other. Uh, 
Maybe I'm trying to make my own colour. Yeah, I think I think that's the thing, isn't it? That like a lot of model paints are sort of like designed to work in a sort of system, aren't they? I think. What the weird triad system sort of yeah. thing they bang on about. Yeah. yeah. So you probably have to get some sort of like, if you wanted to mix your own paints, you'd have to get some sort of highly pigmented sort of like base coat. Probably that ones you were saying. What the Chimera color ones? Yeah. Yeah, Chimera color ones are absolutely amazing. I'd just say they're not very beginner friendly. Oh my god, this is, I, I really hope this doesn't dry as green as I think it will, just because of the heat. I'd be very sad if I have to strip these again. What's the next process? What's the next point of these? So it's like shabby, and then is it straight onto the sepia wash? Yeah. I would say whatever you're going to do to these, man. Right? I would say. Yeah. Right? I, I was I was actually thinking about this. <laughs> I was I was mulling this. Um, mm. I reckon, right, whatever whatever happens of these, yeah, on at least yeah. one of these models, even if you don't like it, yeah, I would say that carry on and and finish it. Uh, I'll tell you why, because you're looking at the model at the moment. You're looking at like a big toothy looking model, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's all just one colour. Yeah, and then going, uh, did you know, uh, that I, I have, I have issues with you, model. You are, you know, making me unhappy with your the the finish of this. Like, it's looking all right now, actually. That third layer, man, is making it look quite kind of all right. But, but, so you're looking at it as one big color at the moment, yeah? yeah. And you haven't put any of the other. So you've sort of done a wash, but you haven't put any of the other color onto the model. So you haven't change the color of the guns you haven't added any green to it because you could add actual green like knee pads and things to it yeah yeah and maybe a plate or shoulder pad that's green or something like that so what i'm saying is like you're, you're looking at it in one certain way but you're not actually looking at how the model's actually going to have the uh, complementary colors to go along with it yeah i'm not looking at it as as a finished product i'm looking at as a possibly ballsed up technique yeah so you haven't painted the, and how long would it take you on one of these models to go and like fill in the metal parts um you know paint the paint the like the crux terminatus and like the gun a different color you know do the whole highlight on the gun paint the like the whatever the the crest green maybe give them a green hat you know maybe paint one of the shoulder plates in green or maybe some of those like whatever you call them those little where the thigh guard things green or whatever and do like the yeah. inlays on the armor and stuff like that which is all going to like which is all going to have an effect on the overall effect of the model you know and it wouldn't take long to just do one model no and like the tubing and stuff like that yeah no, paint. I'll paint these two. I'll paint them to completion, man. Yeah, just for paint. Yeah, just to like, because I reckon it's looking all right now, man. It's actually looking all right from what it was. Yeah, because I reckon. Yeah, I reckon that's what you need to do. I reckon you just need to like. Don't fall into the whole trap of, you know, thinking it looks shit because you haven't finished it. Because sometimes you do stuff and you go like, I don't know if this is working. Yeah. But it only works in the context of like because once you've put like the green next to that because what color are you painting like the 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 crest on the chest green 
Yeah, it'll be uh, the same colour as the armour on the other uh, Space Marines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're going to paint, like, what, the, the, the casings on the weapons red? Yep. And you're going to paint... Corn red. The, and what colour are you going to paint, like, the Crux Terminatus? Met bony? Or do they have them different colour? They have them different colour, don't they? Yeah, they'll be gold. Yeah, because they're stone, man. Hold on. Death wing... I don't know if it should be gold. Stone coloured, my man. Yeah, stone coloured, right? Okay, they'll go stone then. Because the Crux Terminatus are actually bits of stone, aren't they? Are they? Yeah. Yeah, the Crux Terminatus does. Because you got to bear in mind, like, Terminator armor's, armor's weird, isn't it? It's like. They're actually, like. Stony. So that means you'll have grey, green, and red on the model. Annoyingly, that like you know they haven't actually released the Deathwing Terminator models yet. Like no, cause that won't these, be till spring. Yeah, you all like the the dark or the Dark Angels kind of like specific Terminators, because you get a lot more like braiding and Filigree. details and stuff on there, and then you also get like the whole you get the whole Dark Angels like fluff on them yeah all the added bullshit basically yeah like the braids and stuff like the little yeah and the like the uh jousting shields that they put on the shoulder pads and things like that and all that bullshit yeah. right <laughs> all the bullshit all the added bullshit Oh man, it's like as somebody who's painted all of the fucking Space Wolves, like Jesus, the amount of bullshit they had on their fucking Terminators. A crag here's blue. A of, here's a bit of fucking wolf fur and a tail and a bit of metal and a rune and it's like, oh for fuck's sake. Do they need to be wearing the entire fucking kitchen cupboard going into war? Yes. Apparently so. Yeah. Yeah, you do have to just acknowledge like it looks bad now, but it will look better later on. Oh, that is the the hope, man. I know the paint looks really thick, but it's like ninety percent fucking water. And thinner medium just to keep it extremely wet because it is drying faster than I can apply it. bloody coat to be honest there's still some very transparent pieces just sort of floating about I've got to dry again oh no look at my little dry brush look at him oh look at my little wet palette go look at that <laughs> Yeah, look at the amazing hack job I just did on it. That's why um that's why it wasn't allowed to be shown on film as I did that with a Stanley knife on camera. <laughs> Poor old wondering would have had a heart attack. He'd be like, Is that it? Or are you gonna like tear your own arms off? You're gonna cut your own arm off. You end up with some sort of like shoot of some sort of like like arterial blood just flying out across the screen although it's the camera it's like gotta go now I'm actually going to talk about man, uh, a slightly more advanced thing that I think people should do but shouldn't worry about to start off with oh shit and that that is daddy dust oh what are agitators what are our balls <laughs> 
Oh, no. I think that's just you being overly. Isn't that just falling into the hole? Is that just more? I'm going with that's some Zandri I mean, dust. I don't think it is, man. Like. No? Well, let's take a look at, say, one of these contrast paints and how yeah. split it is. Yeah. Yeah, so that, the Apothecary White, the the medium is split completely from it, and the pigment yeah. is split, and it's set yeah. to the bottom. Yeah. We don't have an equivalent example. You'd have to buy two pots of it, wouldn't you? And like have one without an agitator in it. Oh, I do though. I've got I've got examples. Like I've got um, skeleton horde sitting over here somewhere that hasn't got. They just split, man, and it just agitators make it easier to keep your paints mixed. I guess so. Not sure how vital that is to the beginner painter. It's not. That's what I said, man. It's not. A, it's not a beginner painter thing you need to worry about. Good. You shouldn't worry about it, even up to like the seven year point. <laughs> yeah, because it <Oak> doesn't. <laughs> I don't know if they are. Also, a, a trap a lot of people fall into is um, overly worried about their brushes they're saying oh you can't use certain brushes in in metallics and stuff so like, yeah you can it will fuck them up slightly faster because you've got to you got to remember brushes they're a they're a tool they're a resource they they will not last forever there's nothing yeah. that's forever and we both know hearts will change exactly and it's hard to be a paintbrush in the I'm cold November rain. Ay, ay, ay. Oi. Yeah, people say, oh, you know, don't don't use sable brushes with metallic paints and blah, blah, blah. It's like, you can. It'll just, you know, wear them down a bit faster. And them saying, oh, you know, you need to get, like, proper cleaners to, you know, sort your brushes out and stuff. Like, you can, or you can just use fucking washing up liquid. If you want to clean them. I mean, it's it's not the perfect way to do it, but and it's... and like you can use conditioner, like share, like hair conditioner on paintbrushes, kind of. Yeah. I I can't do that though because I've got to spend too much time using that conditioner on my hair. Same. Yeah. You don't get you don't get finite resource don't get in this house. Lovely, lovely, long, long, luscious hair, like me. Without using a light conditioner. Nope. So so you reckon painting layers and things, layers, washes and dry brushing. And then, uh, and then, and then yeah. it, paint kit. Man, even layers, I mean, it's... That comes under like learning to thin your paints properly. It's like, you'll never get it, you'll never like get good coverage in one coat. So thin your paints. Do it in a couple of coats, which is what I'm doing with these fucking Terminators. So they're going to need another coat, man. I can still see through some of the paint. Lovely, lovely long hair. Yeah. Do you um? Do you uh? Do you use a lot of conditioner, Frost? I would not use conditioner if I didn't want to be able to brush my hair. Yeah. I've got like the. Uh, the problem my hair is so thick that I can only use one brush in the house because it's like a really old plastic brush. My hair's like but you've, fucking... but you've worn it in though. Oh yeah, it's like robust. It's 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 been in the wars. Old 
trusty hairbrush. Oh, well, the cream again. Addition quite a bit, yeah. Yeah, it's. I think mine's down to my uh, waist again, my hair. I should probably trim it at some point. Yeah, my hair just doesn't grow anymore. It just sits there. I meant mine just doesn't fucking stop. Doesn't stop. No, it's it's irritating. Just cut all your hair off. Man, do you know how fucking tempted I've been in the last couple of days to do Cut that? your head off. Fucking wish. <laughs> it's Andrew everything. Those those Andrew dust on this on your ones are there, Zug now? Not today. Just, let's have a look at it. Let's have a look see how it's going. Hang on. One more coat probably. Just gotta let this one dry. Spin it round. Yeah, man, that, that's looking alright. That's looking pretty smooth. That's looking pretty smooth, man. The only thing I'd say, mind out, you like have a look, like in the like underneath the the waist pauldron, the waist thing. It looks like from this angle, there'd be no paint in yeah. it. Oh, man, because that's their um. That is the, you oh, know, yeah. like the connective. Oh yeah, it's going to be the connector. What colour are you going to do the connectors? Black? Corvus black. So that sort of bloody yeah. black again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what these are. They're Corvus black. So they're not super black, but they're, you know, they're like a bluey grey. That's what all the, like, the armour straps are. Oh yeah, I need to finish this. I need to finish doing the skin on the sergeant. He's almost there. Is that hair, or is that like? It's hair. I just haven't painted it yet. It's still green at the moment. This is going to stay with like a little green. Like I dye my hair the colour of my armour. Nah, I'll paint it blonde. I think. No. <laughs> Yeah, the top layers are really nice. They are good. That's looking yeah, man, I'm really happy with these. Though, That's looking nice as well, though. I like the scabbard on that guy. I like the scabbard. Oh, yeah, look. Like, oh, man, get the blade so I can see it. Not really bright. Yeah, man, that's really good as well. Have you done, like, a little edge highlight across the... Uh, along the, like, the... I don't even know what you call it. The, the way the blade kind of starts getting sharp. Like the middle of the blade. Is that a little edge yeah. highlight in there? Yeah, that's good, that. I see that. I see that. So, was it nothing upsets me more about when I show people my models and then they point out the grass on the base looks really nice? <laughs> oh, I really like the grass on the base. It's like... Thanks. Yeah, thanks for that. Thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> my wife does that quite a bit. Oh, I really like the grass on the base. I like what you did there. It's like... The rest of the pin model going in with some pallid witch flesh. Oh no, it's not a broken helmet. It's just it's just a mohawk I haven't painted yet. Curve flurry, you're right there. You're right there. Frost is the the autocorrect gone crazy. No, it's just what the it's what that part of the knife is called. So the what? A, oh, the curve. Oh, the yeah. fullering. Oh yeah, good point. I thought you got Which a bit means, mad. <laughs> the curve. Look at the the tyranid again. Oh no, not the tyranid. 
look at those beautiful edge highlights. Oh no, no edge highlights. Clippity cloppity bass. Stop it now, sir. You could, you could kill a child with this. So pointy still. Man, the, the edges on these models, you could have a fucking crab's eye out of them. Painting man, switch over to you because literally there's nothing going on on my screen at the moment. I'm just waiting for things to dry. <sighs> I'm back to painting this little guy, just doing his skin. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, my bad. I didn't, I didn't understand the words. I thought your spell check had gone mad. Also combined with my inability to read. There we go, that guy's pretty much, uh, it's pretty much done. Arr. Yeah. I think there's much more to be done. These ones are always going to look a little shiny as well. It's just the nature of the material they're made of. And obviously the paint isn't too thick, so they're not going to be like, they're going to get a new texture. So unfortunately, they kind of shine if I shine it in the light. Eh? It's weird though, they look a bit rubbery. It's almost like they're made of rubber, these things. Weird, though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Right, let's carry on going. So, Mr. Barbarian here, we've just got to do his hair and his weapons, and I reckon we'll be good to go. So we're going to do his hair black. Because the Barbarian, uh, this is the picture we're going for, by the way. Uh, we've got like a picture of the Barbarian, because he's obviously for our, um, for our, Hero quest, so that's that's the look we're going for. Yeah. Right. Let's keep on going. I should keep that picture out somewhere as well. Blimey, look at the time man. Time flies when you paint models cream, doesn't it? Yeah man. Right, black time. Right, let's do this. I'm just gonna go grab some water, I'll be back in a minute. You don't wanna fart this up. Yeah, I like the card art on that, and that's what we're going for. But again, this this whole the whole set is basically an homage to the box. So you know, like you know, because I'm super original, I'll be going for like the the box art look. Because well, not the box art, but you know, the, the look of the thing. I was looking at the uh, the set earlier. They look really cool. Like the the ones I've painted look really like nice because they're all like in their little box and they look quite cool. Oh god, how am I going to get that there? Uh... 
curse you in your awkward face. Oh my god, it's warm. Yeah. It's weird, man, you've never said that. Oh, while I'm waiting for you to try. Right. My Spidey Chef. Spidey Chef? Yeah, that's one of my favourite knives. I just forgot my camera, so I can just show. I can show it off. I haven't got a favourite knife. You should do. Oh well, if I have a favourite knife, it's got to be this knife. Get old chopper, gar. We've got the what the, the Spidey military. Thanks, thanks Frost. I know he's, he's sweet. Good for all of you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, remember back it back in the day during during the COVID times, we had to carry carry knives around with us. No, we had to carry hand sanitizer around with us all the oh. time. I found this the other day. <laughs> the thumb shredder. <laughs> What have you? Why? Why have you got a Christmassy hand sanitizer? I don't know. I just found it the other day in my office. Oh wow! If any the news has got anything to do with it, you're back to carrying that. You're going to be oh, pretty man, prepared. I, I, I saw that this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, although, although, what is it? Apparently, we got a fancy new variant, haven't we? And it's like, yep. but it's got the worst name ever. It's like B14.644 or something like that. It's like, oh wow, that sounds like sounds like a terrifying variant. Yeah, they should have called it something like the fuckinator. That would have made people take more, <laughs> more seriously. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no, I when oh, no. going back to this um beginner's kit, man. Yeah. I would say a half decent hobby knife. Wait, but what do you mean? Half decent hobby knife? What I like is? Yeah. yeah. No, not a giant Stanley blade. Well, what's wrong with a giant Stanley blade? Everything. Like, man, this thing is like four quid. Stanley blade is less than that. Gonna go with my uh, standard gun metal for this guy's swords, because you know swords are like guns, like close range guns. Yeah, they're melee guns. <laughs> melee guns. Wait, so he's got a little bracelet as well, I think. It is super little though. Is it not a snap blade? Have you got a snap blade there, Zug? So, with the monument, you pop the top off and you can just take the blade out. The answer to the question is apparently no, it's not a snap blade. And you can just get replacements for it, which are like a dollar, and you get six blades in there, and the blades last you quite a while. No, I fucking hate the snap blades as well.
Yeah, it's just a little exacto blade. But is it got as many friends as the old thumb chopper, the old thumb slicer? No, because your one's wildly fucking dangerous. Is it though? Yeah, because it's too big, man. That thing's for cutting carpet. Actually, you know, it's quite handy when I had some carpet to cut. Yeah, I'm not surprised, man. And, man, this is coming from a man who likes knives, and I think that is too big for the job. Well, I'm, man, I'm a man with big hands. Look at my, look at my hand against the standard measure of, 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 of hands. Look. Look. Look, the knuckle on my hand is one intercessor tool. Uh, yeah. Let me colour. The primary colour is plus black and white. Oh, we could do. Oh, God, Weirdly, we, we were kind of talking about that earlier with the starter set. So, like, show, my, show your pointy finger against uh, an intercessor. Yeah? And then the, the top knuckle of your thing. Look. <laughs> yeah, tiny hands. <laughs> you got tiny hands. The assessor's head is above the knuckle, man. <laughs> Give Giving more detail out there. Now we know the 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 dimension of a. Uh, Zug's pointing finger. I'm covered in obshabty bone as well. Is obshibbly bone stained? Yeah. Oh, shabbity bone. Okay, right. So, we're just, I'm, I'm totally, totally on target today. You know, I'm like on, on form. I feel like I've got a lot of great work done today. <laughs> I'm not sure how, how I gets more sun than me. I am very pale. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have been out in the sun though. I do go outside more than you though. I think. Oh, that's true. I avoid it at all costs. Yeah. I do actually go out in the sun. Yeah. Man, I need to get my hands tattooed. Also, I have the. Uh, I kind of tan. Why well, are we back on the Euclidean measures again? Because. I don't know, because I'm just saying, because because Zug accused me of using a standing knife that was too small, and I said I've got big hands, so it's not too small for me because I've got like massive, meaty hands. It's not about the hand size, man. It's about what you're using the tool on. Chop. <laughs> We always go back to Euclidean measurement. I think he's got like a little bracelet there. It's a bit hard to. Sorry. I just hate it when someone drills. I wasn't drilling, I was mixing paint. Yeah, I know, it sounds like you're drilling though. That's also something beginners don't need to buy. Don't. Buy a vortex mixer. You don't need one to start off with. I got one because I'm old and lazy, and all my joints are broken. It's not. It's I. I'm really in control. When I pull the blade towards me, I'm super in control. Man, I've seen you use it. You're not. I am. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. I'm really good at that. I'm really. How many, how many times have I cut my hands? I've got a slightly shredded thumb, but you know, that's not, that's just the nature of the blade. On the blade live streams, itself. I've seen you do it about three times. Yeah. You can't fully see the angle of which I'm operating at it. I've got like... People have got to have a little bit more faith in Uncle Ugg. Right. Nope. Right, so uh, we're going to do the uh, leggings and stuff on. So we're basically, this guy's base coated now. 
he's at the point where we could just wash him and make him a little less shit. So we're gonna try and get this guy up to the same standard. We're not talking about my cutting things anymore. Stop it. Right, so his, uh, his legs and arms are gonna be like blue eventually, but I'm gonna do uh, Stegel and Snell green. Why don't you just sit there and why don't you just paint your shabby bone being quiet? I am painting my shabby bone and being quiet. Said everyone ever. Just, just don't be. Right. We're not talking about this anymore. Kumquat. That kumquat moment. You can't call the kumquat just because you don't want to talk about it. Kumquat. Right. Using it as like a censorship now. No. Nope. What is this? Nineteen eighty four. Oh, I hate these models. Actually, I don't. I like the models. I fucking hate this paint scheme. I hate painting up shabby bone. I miss green. I want my green back. But you only want green because it's dark. Yep. Dark and forgiving. Man, you've got to like come into the light. Nope. I don't have to do nothing. Also, man, you should paint yellow. Something yellow. Fuck no. Man, you need to get over this. I was this. actually thinking. I was actually thinking about painting some uh, yellow Eldar, man. I was thinking about getting a box of uh, Guardians and just painting them. Yeah, you got to get over this whole yellow adversion. You weren't there, man, in the old days of yellow. You don't know how bad it was. Matt. You just gotta paint lots of it and you'll be alright. General rule for any painting paint lots of it and you'll be fine. Because that's like literally when I started out painting, I just painted loads of different colours, remember? I was like, I'm gonna yep. paint a red thing now, and I'm gonna paint like a. a green thing, and now I'm gonna paint like a. different coloured things. So I'll get used to different colours. I'll tell you what is annoying at the moment. If I drink water, it just goes really tepid really quickly. I need to get some ice cubes, man. Oh, yeah, good point. I haven't got any ice cubes. I can't just make them. I can't just go to like. Actually, I can't just go to the shop and buy ice creams. That ice cubes, that's an absolute lie. I can go to the shop and just buy ice cubes. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I do, man. I just go to the shop. Yeah, I've got the room the freezer though, that's the problem. We have limited space because our freezer is full of, you know, vegetables. Sounds like a terrible freezer. Meh. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out where I can buy um deer meat at the moment. Deer meat? Yeah. What venison? A bit of why venison. Why do you want venison? Because it's very lean, it's quite good for you. It's better than pork and beef. Fair enough. It's very lean meat, man. Um, why don't you just buy like soya and it's like super fucking lean because it's got no fat in it? Uh, because. I'm Stupid. wildly allergic to. Well, I'm, I'm not allergic. Do you know the like the the weird issue I have? It makes it way worse. Oh right, okay. It makes me quite ill. I really enjoy. Um, mm. I remember. I remember when we came around for dinner to yours, and you did that. Uh, was it corn or corn. something like that? Yeah. The cubes, man, that was amazing. But it just it did not agree with me. Mm. Like it was super tasty. Like I do love corn. It's very nice. Especially how you like, you kind of like roasted and fried it and it was like crispy and... I'm a... Uh, I'm nothing... A corn connoisseur. A corn connoisseur. 
The connoisseur of corn. Yeah, that's really good, man. Vegetarian maestro. It yeah. just makes me incredibly unwell for some reason. Yeah, oh, that sucks. It's going to paint yeah, uh, well. his stick brown. I've suddenly realised I've put no wash on this. Oh, shabbity bone. How many fucking layers do I need to put on to you? I can Maybe I should have but uh, we're on we're on the fourth layer at the moment. I probably should have based these in white, to be honest. Possibly. But like, primed them in white. Quorn. Oh. Quorn. Q U O R N. Yeah, it's like it's a, a British soya. It's a soya, soya thing. substitute, isn't it? No, oh, it's soya. It's it's a weird. It's, I think it's a mycoprotein. So it's kind of like based on mushrooms. Yeah. It's it's not tofu or anything like that. It is it is its own thing. It's a trademarkable product. Yeah. Oh, I hate painting a shabby bone. Singing a song because I hate it. Maybe my army will just have no terminators. I'm gonna get some water. I'm gonna get tepid water. Mm, Out of my tepid, tepid water, water tap. Give me a sec. Bye right back. Oh god. Oh my god, I, I just if if these don't work this time I'm just I'm gonna be really, really unhappy. I have to strip these things again. been doing very 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 thin coats of this just so I don't like gum up the model but it just just makes me very sad that it just doesn't look very good at all I, I'm trying to do what you were saying wondering and like envisioning how it's going to be instead of looking at how it is it's just it's Difficult at the moment. Let's just get that done in there. Put on the face. one for this round of coats maybe one more I don't know hopefully only hopefully this will be the last coat yeah but I'm unsure totally should have uh, changed the camera around shouldn't I silly me hold on that's no, fine there's nothing interesting going on I'm just uh, painting more of Shabbity Bone yeah yeah man just you know lots of uh, Shabbity Bone all a shabty bone all the time. I was just saying, I, I, well, I'm hoping this is going to be the last coat, but I, I really don't You need to move your know. camera down a little bit. We'll move down a bit. Yeah, it's looking like the last, the final coat now. I'm playing a new game. I'm like... Um... Playing a game, I bought some crisps, but I'm going to see if I can eat the crisps without actually triggering my microphone. Fair enough. It's like a game, it's like um, Mission Impossible. See, look, this is a, the audio where my mic is on. See, not eating quietly. 
I have to eat more quietly. But say stuff, sir. I don't like obshempty bone anymore. Have you done all of them? Mink. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm just waiting for them to dry now. That was the last one. All right, cool. I do have like four more squads of Terminators to paint. How many Terminators have you bought? Uh, I know three. Oh man, that's when you know when the scalpers basically got fucked over on Leviathan because they thought it was going to be a limited release, mm -hmm. and it turned out Games Workshop had made billions of them. People were selling Terminator squads for like five quid for well, a pound each for each Terminator. I never saw any for five quid. Well, I basically bought them the day after the release when the scalpers were freaking out. Um, and then it kind of stabilised. Yeah, I, I, I probably should have based them in a white primer. I mean, if I have to strip them again, I may try it one more time in a different coloured primer. No, man, you'll be fine. Stop being so precious. Not being precious. I'm sad. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Very bad. Are we done soon? I'm getting better at playing uh, Rift Breaker though. Are you? Yeah, yeah man. I've um, I've been using the the scanner loads more, and I've got like loads of recipes for. Uh, uh, you know, like the um, the farming thing where you can grow crystals and things and harvest them. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the home base, I've, I'm able to basically farm palladium, titanium, and uh, cobalt and all the other like crystally stuff. All right, that's handy. Yeah. Paramazerk. No, no, don't suggest that, Frost. He'll do it. He just needs to be made to do things. He doesn't need to get the out. He doesn't know. He doesn't need an out clause. <laughs> uh, ivory tusk, vampire fang. That's what we're looking for. I so this the is the teeth other, in coats version. The only other thing I suppose would be <laughs> like. If you were to do it again, which I don't think you're going to need to do, man, you can paint. I paint my Tyranids, man, and I do a shabbity bone over them. And I, I, do I it. might, I might go over them with a coat of vampire fang. Why? As the last, as the last coat, because it's it's a color match for a shabbity bone, but it's a much higher pigment. I'll handle your zug. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty insane. I do need wrangling quite a lot. Yeah, because it'll just stop. I'll be like, no, just carry on. If worse comes, you'll at least you'll learn something from the process, won't you? Never refuse to learn God. anything. So we're just going to do it on like a little back panel here and see what the colour difference is. I mean, yeah, it's it's a tiny bit lighter. That's probably going to make literally zero difference. Yeah, no, I'm just I'm just testing out the pigment strength of each paint, man. It's not the colour difference; it's just the pigment. Uh, 
pigment. I think pigment. it's going to need like one more thin coat, and then they'll be all right. I've just got to let that coat dry a little bit. And then we're going to flood them with um, brand new seraphin sepia, the new recipe that I've never, I haven't used their new washes yet. Try not to throw it all over the desk as well. Must be. Oh yeah. My advice to you. Yeah, the the vampire fang is slightly lighter. I think it's gonna make a big difference. Oh, you know what I should have done? I don't know. Oh, I'm a absolute tit. I know what I should have done. What? I should have ba I should have based them in Rekar flesh first. That would have probably been a good um, probably a good choice, wouldn't it? God damn it! Why didn't I? I, I was just looking at my goddamn <laughs> iron jaws. You know the, the more yeah. crusher. And I was thinking, hang on, that more crusher is like 50-50 fucking cream. How did I manage to do that? I was like, shit! I based it in Rekar flesh first. That's how I managed to get the cream on that. Fuck. <laughs> oh well. Next time, the next lot I do, I'll base in Rakar flesh first because it's yeah. real fucking thick. You look, man. You just want to be like me. Just paint your uh, Terminator's blue. Nah. Paint him green. Because green is best. Me. Man, switch over to you again. I'm literally just sitting there waiting for Terminators to dry. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, we live, we learn. Right. Uh, that's kind of coming along. Um, I need to paint his hair. Actually, no. what I'll do is I'll get on with this. Uh, actually, uh... Ah, I will paint. I'm going to paint his hair pallid witch flesh because he's got blonde hair. So it's going to be pallid witch hair then a wash of something. Ugh. I'm not a huge fan of contrast paints, man. I'm, I'm just looking at Facebook at the moment while things are drying. Mm hmm. And the contrast paints just. Ugh, they make things look weird. Well, there's like one guy who does like contrast paints and layers. Have you seen that guy? Oh, what the. I can't remember. He's got a YouTube channel that's basically where he just paints things with contrast paints and, and layers, and he's like outrageously good yeah yeah man i've seen um he was one that did the orc commandos and they look really good yeah, he's like a contrast paint wizard yep <laughs> cheers man yeah they're just like i was i was thinking like actually the way i paint my term like my my uh Ultrains has actually changed than when I first started doing it. So it might actually be worth painting Ultramarines blue on the channel just because I've changed the way I do things. Yeah, man. Plus, there's a shit ton of new space marines coming out, so you're probably going to buy some and paint them. Yeah, that's true. I do want um, I want the jump pack, guys. Mm. Cause I'm a sucker for a jump pack. I'm more looking at the the stern guard and the terminators. See, I should have totally painted his rack of flesh first, shouldn't I? We've learned. 
the yeah, lessons I should have put a base of lesson, sand dust down the for lessons, the whole flesh. The lessons we learned approximately a minute ago, I've not taken. That's ah, fine. <laughs> So when did they release the new Iron Jaws stuff then? Uh, later this month, early October. Okay, cool. That time they get like a full fucking release, they, they had like three units for about 10 years. They got pigs and brutes and a boss. That's it. I'll do. Leave him like that. She's looking alright. We live, we don't learn. Yeah. Okay, right. Let's get. Let's do some washes. Um, not that wash though. But while I'm waiting, I'm gonna do something else. What you gonna do, Zuck? I've got. I had some of the old Dark Angels Terminators. I'm gonna basically wreck our flesh and see if it makes any difference. And we're gonna do some experimenting. Wow, the excitement! Well, I've got fuck all else to do while I'm waiting for these things to dry. Down, down, sir. Down with the model. I'm not painted yet. I'm mixing paint. I'm just sitting here. Oh, see, that's that's much, much thicker. That's some nice coverage. Well done, men. We've got a little bit of a OBS just flipped out for a second there. Oh, there you go. Weird. Yeah, yeah OBS. The flush. literal OBS just flipped out and went OBS is disconnected and reconnected then. So sorry about that. I have no idea what happened. Cover your I desk. Just sad about something. Cover your desk. wild about painting your desk yeah why won't you paint your desk Zug? why do I need to paint my desk it's actually dust colours I'd imagine oh right yeah I think I think this would have been a much smarter idea I didn't think of it either, so... Oh no man, this is just a fucking random idea. I was just, I was literally just staring at my shelf where my iron jaws are. I was like, that dragon's got a lot of cream on it. How did I do that? I was like, shit. Also, ironically, Rakhal Fish was like literally the first paint I painted with today. <laughs> but look at that. Coverage. Oh, that I mean, wasn't. Yeah. I mean, I think I've just made a rod for my own goddamn back doing it this way. Well, it's incredibly watered down. I'm not doing all the bullshit filigree on it. This is literally just a test model I'm probably never, ever going to look at ever again after this. Firstborn Terminators with their weird, haunched up sitting. Can't 
man, I can't stand it. People go, oh, I, I missed the first board stuff. It's like, no, you don't. They look shit. They look shit for years. Future is now, old man. Just, you know, be happy they're making things. Oh, I can't wait till everyone just jumps on this Primaris bandwagon. What do you mean the bandwagon that's been going for about four years now? Look who's looking at you, Zug. Who's that? Someone's very disapproving. Oh, oh look. Disapproving. Mm hmm? Is it? Is it Edge Highlight Marine? You need to put him out of his misery, man. Edge Highlight Marine is... Edge Highlight Marine is forever, not just for Christmas or a paint stream. You need to put him out of his goddamn misery, man. I can hear him screaming. He's gone. You've upset him. Good. There you go. Wreck our flesh. Boom. Done. We'll put some of Shabti Bone over that in a minute when it's dry. And then just cry a little. Yep. And die inside and realise I've just wasted the last two hours. <laughs> what? No, no, no. Not two hours, my man. <laughs> Five hours. Oh, yeah. I didn't include the last paint stream. Places, what our places? Oh, man, you, you need to you need to kill that poor marine. What? You need to kill the poor marine. What would what would what would I? What should I do to like edge highlight marine? Strip him and let him go back to just being grey. No. Let him die in peace. Go out in the garden and put him in your burner. No! Poor old Edge Highlight Marine. I'm gonna make Edge Highlight Marine. I'm gonna paint him like one of your French ladies. What's that, Edge Highlight Marine? You are unhappy. I'm gonna paint you. I'm gonna paint you uh, like a Dark Angel, but I'm gonna paint you very well. That's what I'm gonna do. Better. What's that? You don't mind being the Edge Highlight Marine? I Think suppose we could we could call you like the Marine, formerly the Edge Highlight Marine, if that makes you feel better after we've repainted you. No, it could just be called the Edge Lord. No, because he won't be there. Ah, oh, but look at this! Look at this! Look at the beautiful highlighting on his hand, though. Look at that! The perfect way of doing it. All four edges, like a square. No, man, no. This this is how you fucking highlight a dark angel. No harsh lines. It just sort of transitions into a lighter green. I can barely green. see those highlights. That's the point. It slowly transitions to be lighter from darker. You I see, that's how barely, a transition works. I can barely see those edge highlights. Oh Might God. as well not have them there. And like on the red, you see? The red yeah. is a nice, it's a gradient. It's not just a line. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I went to a course, remember? Oh, yeah. I forgot you went to like that really high level. Yeah. <laughs> ah, the marine formula. Ah, oh, yeah. I suppose a good painting purple. I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll go through a number of color transitions as his existence. I'll paint him like um, Ushabli Bone next. <laughs> right. Painting CPU on his.
Oh yeah, Sepia's is the one I managed to knock all over the desk last time. I remember now. Oh yeah. Man, I think you should try and paint some soul drinkers. Soul drinkers? Who are they? Yeah. They're the uh, they're a successor chapter of the Imperial Fist. I mean, to tell what color they are. Purple. God, not purple. Well, I don't want to paint anything purple. They're quite cool. That's there you go. Soul drinkers. Oh yeah. But but bad things happen to them. Very very bad things. Oh, the conventional marine. I don't know. I've got a I've got a bucket full of conventional marines. Yeah, you remember a, a soul drinkers terminator. It's quite cool. Yeah, the purple. You need to get over your fear of purple. I'm literally painting purple right now. <laughs> and look, the last model I painted was purple. <laughs> Frickin' ding dong. Get over yourself. Nah. Get over your face. Oh. You I'm alright, thanks. Do. Um, hold on. This is a great. They have been sitting in a wash. They've been. Basting. Yeah. They've been sitting in isopropyl for like. Christ, months. Let me fish them out. The terrible one is I don't need like a sieve to get these fucking things out. I no, probably wouldn't dip your hands in ice for a flower call, man. Use some tweezers. I don't care, anyway. You know? Remember? Oh, yeah. When I did my thing, it's in uh, isopropyl alcohol. The isopropyl alcohol gets drunk. The isopropyl alcohol has done its work. Mm. Just, um, I need to get in there and like touch them. Oops. Got at least two.
Yeah. So like, there you go. It's kind of like a clearly work in progress. What does it mean the Marine I use? He's very confusing painting though. He's got like blood angels thing and an imperial fish shoulder. <laughs> These weren't my models originally. Very it confusing. Was. That's someone's. Just some ones. Oh, I thought you were going to say they were Kaz's. Oh, there we go. You see, it doesn't even absorb through the skin. Does it not? Yeah, super shiny. Yeah. Um, I need to, like, get a toothbrush on that and run it underwater and just, like, you know, do kind of clean up stuff but in essence I absolutely detest <laughs> looks like you're dragged out of a lagoon yeah All right we're gonna go for Cassandra yellow on the hair because he's blonde So what would be the first, what would be the first, um, cause I'm going to have to think of how I'm doing like convent or like, was it sensible Marines, conventional Marines? So how would, what would be the first one then? What should we I do? Uh, can you explain this thing to me again? My brain has just fallen out of my ass. You paint Marines like they would be like moderately like normal. So you don't paint them like, you don't paint them like bright red, you paint them like camo. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it does tend to dry your hands out a lot. Yes. So that's the concept of the conventional marine. They're just the Imperial Guard colours, aren't they? It's like tan and green. Hey? Eh? Well, you know, conventional marines, they'd just be Imperial Guard colours, like tan and green, wouldn't they? I guess so. It depends what theatre of war they are operating in. As you know, conventional thinking would say that they would be camouflaged to their environment. Well, our practical marines. Okay, uh, I'll I'll do a, like a jungle, or like, I'll do like a forest one to start with. Then that is surely the environment that all wars are fought in originally. Yep, the forest. Where all my wars are fought. Gonna let that guy chill out for a bit. Actually, um, um, I should really get on and do some more washing, shouldn't I? That's what I should do. Nobody saw that. Mm -hmm. Nothing. You do. Just yeeted the model out of my hand. <laughs> I managed to grab it. Practical Marines. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll think about. I'm, I'm probably going to have to have a model on how to paint them. Really, really well. Oh, thanks. Well, I'm just saying you're going to paint them really, really well. I'm trying to be supportive, for fuck's sake. Maybe I'll go like. I just have to hook some camos up or something. I like painting camo. My favourite. Oh, yeah, everyone, everyone loves painting camo, man. It's brilliant. <laughs> it's like... The 
These are some of my favourite things. Painting in camo and painting things red, yellow. Actually, it's not really a rhyme there, is it? I'm sure I'll work something out. Model through. I always do. interested in what's going on outside my house now. It sounds like someone in the garden. They be doing. Who dares interrupt garden? There's garden near me, garden. Right, um, my part of the theme park, it's kind of, they turn the sprinklers on. Do they? Yeah. Uh, OBS did freeze at one point. Still hot as shit in my part. Although it's a bit overcast now, so, you know, it might... It might be... Rain might be on the way. Can't rain all the time. Can't rain all the time. Uh, then we're gonna have oh. a bit of a Rajmir armor for the gold bits. He's got a couple of gold details on the, the sword and his belt buckle. I've just found some really old models on the windowsill. Not that far to search, to be honest, was it? Well, it's behind a curtain. Well, that's nice. Yeah, it's my. It was a test model for really the. Good. I thought the purple was a bit flat, to be honest. No, it, yeah, that looks good. I love the metal. The gold looks absolutely splantastic. Oh, yeah, gold. that's how my. So what I'm thinking when I, because you know I've got loads of Sigma rights. The gold, pretty much like this, but I'm gonna go for a screamer pink instead of a purple. So like that. Because the I just I just think the purple is really flat. Yeah, purple is tricky. And purple is the new purple is the new black. I found a very very old model from oh. when Baby Wait, Zug was hold playing on, fantasy. Hold on, hold on. Go back and do it again. They want they want okay. the, the the audience wants to see it again, but bigger. Give it a sec. That is really, that is really nice. That gold. I'm gonna fluff your. Oh, it's just all dry brushing, man. Fluff you too much, yeah, but it looks really nice. It's a really nice effect, isn't it? Hmm. That's why we should wibble on about dry brushing. Yeah, dry rushing is it just it it makes things look really fucking good. And then we have very old orc from when I was playing fantasy as a wee wee zug. That yeah, he looks right. terrible. Looks all right. It doesn't <laughs> look awful. Doesn't. doesn't look awful though. Man, I think these things took me like ten minutes each to paint. It's just the Black, brown, green, silver, inks. Done. This is back in the day of Games Workshop's old inks that were really, really shiny. Uh, I like that model. Oh, what have we got here? Hang on, we've got, we've got another one, man. I'm still, the camera's still on you, so... We've got a silver Sigma, right? Not as fancy as the gold one, man. No, not quite as fancy, is he? Oh. Yeah, I do like the gold one. 
but it's just that the purple is far too flat. I don't like it. We'll change it out for a, a ready pink, and I think that look good. What else have we got up here? Oh, Jesus. A very old vampire woman. On a, on a Bretonian steed. What's going on there? No tail. Very dusty. Yeah, that's like a super antique gold look you got going there on that last one, man. I really like that. Yeah, man, I think... I, I, I hope I remember how to do it. <laughs> I think that... I think, I think, I think, I think... It's Retributor Gold. Agrax, not Sepia. Then... I think it's Uruk armor over the top of it instead of Liberator. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it looks like um, Agrax. Was it Retribia? Yeah, it's Retribia the base. Yeah, Agrax. Then Agrax, and I think it's actually no. This might no. It's Liberator gold over the top of it, man. Because Liberator gold's a, sort of a white gold. Yeah, this is literally just Retributor, Agrax, Liberator. That being said, then I'm going to put like Agrax on these uh, this guys. Man, I, I don't know why, but I, I always wash gold with Agrax. I never use uh, Seraphine Sepia. No, it's Flesh Tone I use a lot if I'm going for the whole the whole um because uh, this is like oh god, he's very dusty. What's he oh. doing? Is he dry enough yet to put a... Yeah, I'd say he's dry enough to put some... Oop, shabty bone over. Let's see how this covers. Oh, you absolute motherfucker. Does it cover well? Yes. <laughs> yeah, look, man. This is the... See, that's flush tone. I can switch to yours, man. I do like the Sigmarites. They do look good. Yeah, man, especially, and the new ones look really good because they've like slimmed them down. Yeah, this guy's just like a meaty boy with like a ridiculously large hammer. But so that's what flesh tone did you say? Yeah, that's flesh it? tone. Yeah, that so that's like retributor gold flesh tone, and I can't remember what it was, or a armor or something like that. Cheers. Yeah, because I only have like a few of the golden boys, like that I've actually finished. Because it's like these guys. It's like because like, I got the um, I got the. Um, it's one of the start sets, wasn't it? No, that was uh, the God. What's the game? The oh, game? Under Hollow. Under no, no, I can't remember what it's called. We well, get like three of them. Can't even remember. Yeah. So like. You get these three. They do look nice. I'm a, I'm a like quite a faint fan of storm, storm casts. <laughs> yeah, they're literally just space marines in fantasy, but I quite like them. Yeah. Right, 
Right. Um, oh, I was going to go with some Agrich. Oh, I'm so thoroughly irritated by this. Well, it's done now anyway. Yep. So, man, get some super on those bad boys. I've got to drive by now. It's so hot. I want to see what they look like. No, oh, I will, man. I'm just finishing this guy, then I'll whack out some sepia on them. And that's pretty much fucking covered in one coat. Jesus fucking Christ, why am I so stupid sometimes? What the hell is wrong with me? So yeah, that was just wreck our flesh, then a shabty bone. One coat of each. Boom. <sighs> just, just... And that took like 10 minutes. Sharp, just, just leave me alone. <laughs> I don't spot him alone, man. And man, and, and what's annoying me is, I'll see how it is when the. Oh, I don't. You think can't it see, is. man. You're like super out of focus. I don't think it is, but once the shade goes on, you will definitely have to tell whether the paint has dried on slightly too thick, like it's lumped. So. Put it, focus it, man, so I can see we're up closer. Hang on. I said autofocus. Camera problems are real. What are you doing? I'm trying to get it to fucking focus. There you okay. go. I think it's gone too thick. Ah, oh, looks fine. Okay. All right, sepia time. Remember, recess wash. Otherwise, you'll be back to this Ushabi. Oh, we're not going to recess wash. We're going to what? We're going to flood them. No. 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 Oh, and I'm, I'm going to be back to a Shabti any, anyway. Why? Because I've got a clean up with it, don't I? No. Where the hell's my wash brush gone? No, man, yeah. you want to recess wash it. You don't want to wash the whole bloody thing with a Shabti. Or with CPA. Hold on. Hold on. I feel like this is like we've been going for ages for this. And move up a bit, yeah. God. Get paying. Up a bit. Up a bit. Ah, uh, yeah, they do like lines. Yeah, that's why. That's why I flipped my. Actually, that's why I flipped my um, my background. That's why I have this charming speckled effect, which is just the uh, backside of my painting mat. The front side is just as just as speckled. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, man. It was a long time ago now. I've just sort of like carried on doing it. They don't have different coloured helmets. No. Are you sure? Yep. Then 
not yeah. like the um, no, like Blood Angels or. Yeah, when the when the back in the back in the day when we were working out the paint stream, the ancient art of the paint stream. Oh yeah, no man, that looks that's looking good. That's looking good. The face, the face. No, he didn't need more, no. Oh, just a little bit. Not the dunk and dunk. No, I don't think it needs a dunk and dunk. I think it needs. Yeah, because you have to go back and tidy it up a bit, aren't you? Yeah. Basically, anywhere there's texture, it just gets hit with it. Get the leg, left leg, other left leg. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man, that's looking good. Oh, yeah, those recesses get in there. Do some more on the arm because there's lots of little. So I'm not going to do the shoulder pad because it's just one flat panel. It doesn't need to be shaded. I'll tell you, you've got too much wash on the back there, man. What on here? Yeah. Yeah. Just take some of that off. And also. Can just dab sometimes. <gasps> Dabbage. Yeah. Dab 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 dab. I will have to go back over it, but it's just, you know. I reckon that yeah, it won't take long though. No, 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 it won't. Get some under there because it's higher shadow. His right cheek is looking a little bit overloaded. What, that one? Yeah, the one not on the right. I'll hit that with um, when I go back over and clean up. No, man, like if you look at his left cheek and his right cheek, one's got loads of wash in it and the other one doesn't. Move it. Yeah. It looks like it's pooling a little bit, that's all. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to stop, like, looking at your dry brush oh. and carry on with my work. My work. Just carry on my work like I'm working. There, she did my work. Alright. Going with the non oil on the sword Yeah, it does look like it's going to work a lot better. Oh, I'll keep going with these guys until completion, and then I'll... see what happens. Right, speaking of... stuff... Time to do some... getting out of here. Alright, so, 
Arcadian Flesh Tone. Let's get the paint ready. So I like transition for some bit of flesh painting. Yeah, yeah, man. Flesh, flesh is always exciting. Let's see if I can screw it up. It's just Cadian flesh tone, just like. Most of it's off my brush. There's like very little paint. Chan. I don't have any cats, Chan, no. It's because the models are fucking older than most of our viewers, man. <laughs> no, they are. They're fucking well old. What, the viewers? No, the models, man. They're just... The uh, cats, Chan models are... Uh, I don't know. 20 years old, at least. Old enough that you ran out of fingers when you started trying to count them. Oh yeah. And then you just stopped. It's above 20, it's not a real number. There's a few newer ones, aren't they, but... Only like Sly Marlboro and... Yeah. Like one-off the... characters. They are called the Katachan Jungle Fighters. Yep. Gotcha. Love fight in the jungle. So there's a rumor they're actually uh, going to do an entire Death Core of Krieg release. Really? Hmm. I mean, that'd be quite sweet. Yeah, man. I fucking love the Death Core Krieg. The only reason I bought any is because they're all forge world and fuck that noise. Did you not Can you get, imagine dealing? Did you, did you ever get the what? Oh yeah, I've got the like one squad they made for the kill team, but one squad doth not maketh an army. No. Did you paint them? I haven't even fucking built them. They're very nice. Yeah, you were right. You were correct. You're learning the ways of the 40k. <laughs> learning immense amounts of useless information. 
We talked about useless information. It's great. Is it you great? Know, you, need, like, you need to know about the Istvan 5 drop site massacre and the burning of Prospero and, and other things and that are totally oh, yeah. not useless. Totally. That's so totally useful information in life. Yeah, man. You must know of the horrors heresy. At least we not repeat it. I mean, the horrors heresy is quite boring. No. Wow, it is bad. What? Can't say that about the Horus Heresy. Space Marines being naughty, that's all it is. I think it's quite interesting. Yeah, some of it is really cool. For the Emperor. <laughs> it's like, it's where the Jehovah's come knocking. They're like, what is this? We worship the Emperor in this house. The Emperor of Humanity. May his light guide us. Later, told of flesh. Where is it? Where I keep it? I keep my flesh in a bottle. What, your kids left flesh? Yeah, I don't know where the kids left flesh has gone. Oh? In flesh time. What about so much cane in flesh time? Yeah, I seem to have loads of that, even though I don't paint much flesh. <laughs> Is left flesh when it's at home. Is it behind me? That's my Usheb or my uncle flesh. Wrong flesh. Flesh of the Ungar. Oh, I can't find it, Zug. No, just gotta keep looking, man. It'll be there. This organization is strong. Is it? It's like a really like yellow, isn't it? Mm, it's a pinky yellow, man. Yeah. Trick. Just stand up a little bit more. <laughs> Talk to you about the, the our Lord and Savior, the Emperor. Yep. Right. No. A little he bit did of... die for our sins, man. Well, he didn't die. He got crippled for our sins, and now he's sulking. Yep.
it's ironic, isn't it? Because like the, um, you know, was it controversial? I was controversial mm. opinion of the day. <laughs> um, like Warhammer is based on June, and and, and June is based on um, what's it? What's his face? The Christianity um, Messiah belief system. Do you not know that? Yeah. Because, like, you know, like, Christianity is based on, um, like, there's loads of, um, historically, there's loads of religions that, um, you know, you can believe whatever you want, but, uh, you know, this is just fact stuff, but there's loads of religions that are based on, like, um, messiahs who sort of come from virgin births and stuff because it's like Osiris was the same thing and so was like Dionysus all that yeah a messianic yeah kind of So ironically, if you worship the Emperor, it's kind of like an analogous for being Christian. <laughs> but it's not. But you know what I mean. They're both based on yep. the sort of like the same sort of conceptual religious mythos. goes the layerage I'll turn it on again right that cheek man that right cheek it looks like full of oh wash. yeah but uh, I can't take anything off it man it'll coffee stain so I need to wait for it to dry and then I'll just um, tidy it up but the the Rekar flesh experiment one coat I can't it's one goddamn focus. coat There we go. Ah, done. We should probably start showing people what we've done today. Hmm? What we've done today? Well, it's almost that time, man. Eh? Is it? Of course yeah. it is. Oh my word. By Osiris it is. Gonna pick different. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right. Probably, yeah, the wrap up. Got time flies when you're painting stuff, doesn't it? I forget how quickly the time goes. Yeah, man. I haven't actually done a lot this paint stream. I suppose I've almost painted this guy. I don't feel like I've done very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get on and do things. Let me get my, get my little things in alignment there. All right. Get all out of the way. So, why don't I start then? So, yeah, man. I'll start. So, obviously, this guy is now done. Pretty, uh, that was the guy from last week. I didn't do very much on him though, just finish off, did a little bit of highlighting on the red and just finish off the uh, the flesh and a uh, little bit on the yellow, 
and he's finished. And I need to go and finish his base and stuff like that, but uh, there's not much to do on that. Lovely. And uh, obviously this guy started him from scratch and he's almost done. Just need to... Uh, and he's uh, obviously... This is the uh, the art of which he is based on. So he's got to get in there. Right, please. He's all looking all right, isn't he? Looking all right. And then obviously, our wizardy friend, who I have not finished yet, but he's getting there. Got to do more on the cut. He's just based, really. Got the base layers in, a little bit of a wash, but I need to finish off the blues and the purples. And he needs a belt and pouches and just finished off, really. And his weapon needs more painting and stuff. There you go. And that's, uh, that's all I've done today. And then we'll move over to the Zug Stir. Should really organise these things, so. I've been painted to cream. Yeah, man. That looks all right now. It looks all right. It's I still think the paint's a bit too thick, man. I think it's gone slightly too thick because of the heat. It's dried weird. But I'm going to finish them and see how they look. Yeah. And then the, the next lot, I'm going to start with either a, a Rakar flesh base or a Zantry dust base. I'm thinking Rakar because it's lighter. Because this is the the Rakar base with one coat of, of Shabti over it. Yeah. I think you just need but, to like. Hey, you just I need to, to pra like... practice more on this. Well, man, what you should do is you should definitely like tidy them up and then do the dry brush of like white scar or whatever white on top of them yeah like super well, light this. super Screaming light skull yeah because basically how how this is meant to work i wash them like this so this isn't really a pin wash this is just a selected wash a pin wash would be much finer um then i'm going to not dry brush but wet brush the shabty bone back over them, a very light coat just to smooth it. Yeah. And get it off of the panels. And then edge highlight a screaming skull. Yeah, that'll do it. But uh, the only thing I'm, I'm worried, like, I'm, I'm not unhappy with this. They, they, they will look good. The only thing I'm worried about uh -huh. is I think the heat's made the paint go a bit weird. So... I'll finish them, and then we'll see. I just think it's gone a bit. Oh man, it's just a bit claggy, man. Just carry on with yeah. it. See what happens. Because what are you gonna? Are you back on Wednesday? Are you do? Are you trying to paint again yeah, on Wednesday? Yeah. Which that means yeah, you're gonna be back Wednesday. to do these bad boys. You're gonna finish off the weapons and everything, and get the green on there. And man, I reckon you should do yep. some green plates on these things. Maybe. Maybe. Oh man, the, parent, the only thing that's meant to be green is the Aquila on the chest. Uh, maybe. Then we'll get some grey on the, like, Crux Terminatus and stuff. Yeah, and then, like, what, we red weapon? Yep, same red. Like the casing, the, uh... same sort of red on the casing. So it'll be that, sort of, it'll be a pinky yeah. red. You know what you should do on that? I... You should do blue purity seals. Ah, uh, I suppose, it's done... annoyingly, you got the purity seal on the... That purity seal looks really good, though. Um... I'm just saying yeah, man, that's that a it's a perfectly pink purity seal. Annoyingly, like the the pink doesn't doesn't contrast well with the red. Annoyingly. No. Well, no. What I actually need to do is go in there with a black wash and actually wash around the seal to give it um, a transition. So yeah. not the seal, but the crevice around it between. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's not a criticism, no. man. It's just like no, no. It's just, it's just how like, it is. It's just annoying because what would you do? Blue? You could do them blue. blue I did them in. Um... 
Yeah, 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 man. I know that, but the blue, blue purity seal is also a thing. Is it? I've never seen a blue purity seal. Yeah, you can do blue purity. Of course, you can do blue purity seal. I think my grey knights have got blue purity seals on them. Have they? No, I certainly did blue purity seals on something. Now they've got reds. I don't know. Yeah, even on this one, man. I, could, I, I, this is just me being fucking finicky. But even with with one coat on the on the test model, mm. uh, because it's so fucking humid in here, it's like it's still thirty, it's thirty six degrees in this office. The paint has bubbled where it's dry, like it's it's congealed, not dried. Ah, oh, man, they still look alright. Oh yeah, man. I'm just uh, just be pissy about it. To be honest, you know what I mean? Yeah. But no, they look they look much better now. They've got some fucking shade on them. Yeah, man, I think that's the thing. It's just like, but if you do, carry, so you carry on with those Terminators on Wednesday. Then. Yeah, I might do a bit more of them tonight. Just tidy them up, and then Wednesday will be like um, guns, weapons, uh, studs, silvers, reds. <laughs> yeah, make oh, it I flesh coloured. <laughs> What, the uh, purity seals? No. The space marines. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't think I don't think uh, purity seals are made of flesh. No, they're made yeah. of wax, that's what I was that's yeah. what I was confused about. Yeah, I don't think they are. I think they're made of I think... No but I'm definitely I'm not I'm not gonna cheap out and go green with them. I'm I'm gonna work out how to do this properly. Yeah. But, man, it looks good. I just need to. I, I'm just. I've never painted this much. Um... Pale. Yeah, it's it's a weird weird color to work with. Cause it's yeah, almost no. like painting backwards. Well, like, like I can say, for Terminators don't get a job in the Death Wing, you know. They can, uh, they can always come and join like the Pallid Hand because they're about right. <laughs> Oh, what the tag bit? Um, oh yeah, I suppose it might be. It might be made out of human. I don't know if they make the Vellium out oh, of yeah. human. They might be. Oh yeah, because yeah, that it would either be parchment or yeah, Vellium, which is what lamb skin or human skin. Yeah. Maybe yeah, I don't know. The the pink does look much better against the green. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's that, just annoying. That isn't just it? needs that just needs to be. I need to put a dark contrast in there around the seal you can see it at the top yeah. it's blacked out a bit yeah because yeah. normally normally those things would be like black wouldn't they on like something like an ultramarine so you've got like a purity seal sticking out like black it would be like red purity seal against a black background which is fine for like the ultras yeah. and stuff like that but I like the most things but green or red it's like that's it that's why I did a blue purity seal no, I didn't. I didn't oh, on the... Uh, you would have thought I'd have, done, I'd have done it on a Blood Angel. That makes perfect sense to do a blue, blue, blue purity seal on a Blood Angel, doesn't it? Oh, actually, and the other thing. Look, <laughs> hold on. I mean, they make stuff out of people wandering. For there is actually a good reason, because human life is worth nothing. Yeah. It's the cheapest resource they have, so... There you go, look. Also, man, look. He's so much taller now. He, oh, look how he's grown. Definitely been eating his greens. Absolutely. Right, but anyway, enough, enough. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> right, but anyway, um, gonna say I think uh, that's us in it. That's us. We're done. Yeah. Right. I'll let you go and like sit in the garden or something. I'll dunk your face in a bucket of water. Um, so um, thank you everyone for joining us live. Thank you for watching. It's most appreciated. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that great shit. Reasons help out the channel. It's most appreciated. Thanks for shaking that as I'm talking. So that's makes, makes the outro better. Yeah, no worries, dude. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. Any 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 parting words you'd like to like to give? Yeah. Cream, brown cream. Okay, right. Have a good evening, and uh, see you on Tuesday. See you later. Later. Oh, where's the buttons? Oh, there it is. Right, button. Cheers, dude. We're gone.